Hello, Scott Wittenberg with Synapse Global here, and we're going to do an Elastics tutorial today on setting up an extension. So, we're going to assume that you've already logged into Elastics, and the first thing we're going to need to do is click on the PBX tab. That takes us right into the Add an Extension area, which is perfect. So, we want to have the device on generic SIP device, which it is by default. So, we press Submit. That's going to bring up the Add SIP extension page with lots of options. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is select a user extension. For this demo, we'll make that 1000. The display name, we'll put, just put our name in there. So that's set. Uh, we're not going to do anything with DIDs on this, so we're going to scroll down. Next box that we need to worry about is the secret box. This is the password. I don't know why they call it a secret, but they do. It's, it's a password. So this is the password that will be used when your soft phone or whatever device it is you decide to use to connect to this extension. This is the password or secret that that device will need to know. So we'll type our password in there. Um, we're not going to do any fax handling on this demo, so we'll scroll down. Uh, we will set up a voicemail box, so by default it's disabled. We'll click that and enable it. Uh, next, we'll want to set a voicemail password. Uh, this can only be digits, so we'll want to put our password in there. We'll make it 6789. Uh, next will be the email address. Uh, if you put your email address in here, um, the server will send you an email when you receive a voicemail, which is a handy thing. So we'll put our email in here. Uh, we're not going to put in a pager email address. Uh, email attachment. We'll set that to yes. What that means is that uh, the server will also attach a WAV file to the email, and that WAV file will be your voicemail, so you can listen to your voicemail in your email. You won't have to call into the system and put in your password to listen to your voicemail. It will be right there in your, your email. Uh, the play CID, that's caller ID. Uh, I like that. What that is, if you call into the system to listen to your voicemail, it will play the caller ID of the person that left the voicemail before the voicemail. It's handy. If you don't like that, you should probably select no. Um, there's some other things here. If you just put your mouse over them, it tells what some of these other things are. And if you want them, turn them on. If you don't, turn them off. Um, so now press submit. Now you'll see your new extension right over here. Uh, we're not quite done. Uh, you need to press Apply Configuration Changes here for these changes to take effect. So we'll press that, and there you go. Now we've created a new extension 1000 for user John Public. Uh, now we can go ahead and log out of Elastics. And there we are. We're logged out. Uh, now you know how to create a basic extension in Elastics.